Welcome back guys. This is Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And today we're going for a test drive in this 1974 Dodge Dart. Uh, loving the paint scheme. 318 under the hood. It says it right here on the front of the motor on the block. Power steering, power brakes. It doesn't look bad up under here. This car is in great shape inside and out. Of course, I'm going to be picking out the flaws. That's why I do these videos. I'm going to be looking for rust, uh, dents, scratches, chips. Uh, we're going to check the interior for rips, tears. Uh, we'll check the carpet. We'll see how this car runs and drives going up and down the road. How does it stop? What does it do when I floor it? How does it steer? Everything's going to be gone over just like I do on every car here. 100 detailed pictures, financing and shipping all at maplemotors.com. Let's get the hood shut here. And guys if you don't mind hit subscribe it's about that time let's go for a ride coming up on the interior here door panels in good shape this seat here does have some rips and stuff in it of course we'll be going over that throughout the video looking around on the interior place your bets do you think the horn works it's a game we like to play Package tray's decent. Headliner's decent. It's got some little scratches, but let's get in here and start this one out. I literally started it up for a couple minutes. It starts out pretty good. You got a squeaky belt up there. Gauges are all coming up on the dash. Waiting on the temperature gauge. It's still cold right now. Showing 73,000 miles. It's hard to stand behind that. Wipers, do they work? Yeah. Um, blower motor. Blower motor is working. As far as AC, I don't think it is. It's still hot. We'll give her a second, but I doubt it. Radio works. Turn signal. I hear it. I see it on the hood out there. On both sides. Blinking on the hood. All right. Horn. Did you place your bets? That one's sensitive, works good. Guys, let's hit the road and we'll find out how this one actually runs and drives. Power steering feels nice. And just a reminder, this is the first time I've driven this. I do this with every car. This is my first impression and I record the whole thing. So, reverse. We get these cars in every day. We buy them from uh, individuals mostly. We go to car shows. Uh, get a lot of phone calls and emails, people selling stuff. And we try to buy them ready to go. All we do is wash them up, clean them, check all the fluids, and they give them to me to check out. You may have, which my uncle, we're all family, uh, Jeff or Jason, take them down the road before they give them to me just to make sure, you know, everything's okay. So we do get a lot of cars in. Just for uh, an instant, this last week, we bought over 25 cars. Um, and that was in a matter of four days. So we have a lot of new inventory coming in. Here we go. Watching across the dash, it looks like the temp gauge just came up. It's above 120 now. The uh, speedo is not doing anything. When I let go of the steering wheel, it is pulling to the left. So we do have a little bit of a front end pull there. You can see it doing it every time. With that being said, this steering is tight. I mean, as soon as I turn, it turns. Uh, when I floor it, kick down's hooked up, pulling good, and it's very responsive. There's no lag. Well, it's a rolling barbecue. Getting into those brakes. The brakes feel pretty good. They're not bad at all. I can't slam into them because uh, of traffic here. I don't want to have anybody wreck into me. <laughs> I'll have to slam into them over here in the parking lot. A little bump on the bridge here. Oh, she got around me. Here we go. Slam into them. Stop it fast. So what's good? I don't think we're going to have to stop and get any fuel. The gas gauge is just ever so slightly moving around on the dash. I think it is above half a tank and I think it's working. 
So we're gonna just go on over to the other parking lot over here. We're gonna get some undercarriage shots, drop by the camera, and have a little bit of fun with this video here. Oh man, everybody and their mama took my shade spots. They're parked all up along that. So I'm gonna have to go somewhere else to video. I gotta work with the sun. So I try not to get too many shadows in it. It's just nice having a shade spot to work with. All right. We'll find something, I can tell you that. Brakes again. Skirt. I got into them hard though. They are stopping plenty fast. Well, I'm just gonna do it out in the middle of the sun. I'll be right back. Okay, got y'all set up in the window. This is the old school view before I got the head cam. But uh figured I'd switch it up a little bit. Not to mention I forgot my head strap thing. <laughs> Left it on the desk, connected to the other camera. I use multiple GoPro 8s to make these videos. Um, the best way for me to do it is grab one, have it download, grab another, take off all day long. Rolling on out now. And I got you on wide view if it looks weird at all. That's why. Still got that left pull, the front end. Engine temperature has been good this whole entire time and it's showing accurate on the dash. Speedometer still broke, doesn't work. Got plenty of pickup there.
Okay, we're gonna take a right over here, go across the bump in the middle of the road that I'm happy about, and it came back because you can actually listen to the suspension and get an idea. Some cars are worse than others. This one's gonna be nice. You probably won't even notice it in this one, but I'll point it out. It's coming up right here. Y'all may have heard it a little bit, just from the front suspension. <laughs> so far I like the way this one runs and drives the AC is not blowing cold does have hot you want to kick the tires over it'll do it and let's see uh, I think this person blocked the lot on me trying to make it back in no the fox body is not for sale it was a personal it's just making sure people don't hit the pole up front here so we're getting ready to move it out of the way all right guys i appreciate you watching picking out the flaws is up next thanks to pick out the flaws we're gonna be walking around this ride anything i find you'll know about it detail pictures maplemotors.com up close and personal here we go you can see on this bumper here it does have some light pitting some light scratches the grill looks awesome nice and clean a little light there it's got some light cracks in it Coming down the lower portion. Tires on this one look great. Bottom of the door looks good. Back your midsection. It looks pretty good coming over over the top a little bit of pitting on the chrome here front windshield on this one looks good trim looks good pillar nice seal around the window is in good shape too spot there back windows in good shape coming down the back section here around the back a little bit of pitting on your rear bumper light scuffs chrome on the back looks good you got a little chip in your tail like there A little bit of pitting chrome on top okay looking around the seal in the trunk looks pretty good not bad at all down in the trunk a little bit of surface truss popping up over here
in your package tray, surface rust. Around the edges there, not too bad. Coming on down with it. Shot's good. Coming down this side, lower portion. Got some paint bubbles in the back here. that has gotta be some rust growing up under there. Back your midsection. Some light lines there in the front. You see that line? Gas clap. Cap's nice and clean. Gas clap. Stumbling a little bit on my words today. Maybe I need some more sleep. Little bubble popping up there. Light scratch. Pitting on your door handle. A little bit of pitting on the mirror here as well. Front windshield on this one is good. Trim looks good up your pillar. All right, made it around the ride. Let's go ahead and check out the inside. Door panel on this one is in great shape. Seal looks good, bottom. The seat, it's got some ribs. In the corner here, right in the middle. Also there and there. Up in the corner here. In the back here. Headliner. So we do got a few things, let's jump in here. <clears throat> On the headliner here in the back corner, there's some light little scratches there. You can see in the middle here, it's got some chips up here in the top. One there, scratches here and there. Visor's not too bad. Passenger visor also in good shape. Mirror here has got some haziness in the glass. Turning it on. That's not giving it any gas there. Let's try it again. It does start without giving it gas. Engine temperature is up and showing that it's working. And I've had this car running for a little while now. Good deal. Any kind of paperwork that comes with these cars that we receive we leave with the cars crack right here in the dash up on this side you got a little crack too
insulation's older. See, it's got some age to it. The hood actually comes down quite easy. It's creaky, but shuts easy. I'll tell you what, pretty good ride here. I'm gonna take it back to the lot, grab another one. Detail pictures, financing, shipping, all at maplemotors.com. I've had this thing running for a little while. Um, only cut it off to start the walk around video. Starts right back up, stays cool, runs and drives good. Hit subscribe, share this video. That'll help me out quite a bit. Keep me doing this job for you. That way you know what you're getting before you get here. Again, thank you for watching. I'll see you later.